don't want to scare anyone. The girl who survived that night at Camp Blood, that Friday the 14th, some sort of demented creature. What's going on everybody? Friday the 14th here for you for a new update video. Yeah, my last one was a little over three weeks ago and I've added a, a whole lot more titles since then, 30 plus titles since then. Was anticipating this many titles in that short amount of time, but you know, what the hell? There's so many sales going on. Diabolic DVD had a good sale going on. Vinegar Syndrome had their Halfway to Black Friday sale. Um, Hamilton Books had some good deals going on. I picked up some awesome titles from McKay's. You hit a good luck string again from there. But yeah, I got 30 more, 30 more titles to get to that I picked up since my last update. And yeah, some pretty good shit in here as well. So let's, let's stop killing time and just get right into it because that's what you're here to watch. Alright, first off, we'll get to the non-horror titles. I got uh, like seven non-horror items, and the rest uh, the rest of it's just all straight-up horror. Uh, from boutique horror, DVDs, uh, non-slip covers, slip covers, all that good shit. But like I said, first we're going to get into the non-horror stuff. First thing I picked up, got season three of Eastbound and Down. Just a great show. Kenny Powers is just the man. Greatest baseball player to ever play the game. Um... Another one of these weird short slip covers on this one. I know the fourth season has a regular full slip on it, but the first three have this going on. But, you know, I got them all with the slip, so that makes it even better. Whoa, easy. And then picked up the Grinch, just ready for Christmas time. It was, like I said, $16 and it's brand new. Haven't even opened it up yet. But we'll get to this around Christmas time. Looking forward to it. I know Jordan... And his daughter went to see it in the theaters, and they really had fun with it. So, looking forward to watching that one. I know it's a little bit different than the original Grinch and the Jim Carrey one, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. And then picked up this thing right here for $13. I heard so many bad reviews about it, but for $13, I picked it up myself. And this movie had so much potential behind it. It could have been so, so much better. The first half of the movie is a lot of fun, except for... What uh, I forget what his name is. What's uh, Jackson or I forget. But he is the most annoying character ever in a movie. I absolutely hated every minute of screen time that he had, just from his annoying screams to just how he acted. But everything on the island was a lot of fun to watch, uh, with the volcano exploding, all that stuff. But once they got to off the island stuff, it kind of just it, it, it lost it completely for me. This movie could have been so, so much better. Chris Pratt, I, lo I love Chris Pratt and uh, what's her name? Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. She's she's fun to look at. And then that one scene when they're leaving the island on the boat with uh, the big dinosaur in the shadows, uh, that's, that almost brought a tear to my eyes watching that part. But like I said, once I get off the island and the Indo the Indoraptor, I'll give the Indoraptor was cool as hell. I liked the the Indoraptor in the ending of this movie. I guess they're gonna just keep going with it. I don't know, but I was really really disappointed in this movie. Don't know if I'll keep it or not. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the first Jurassic World and the first Jurassic Park. I'm a completionist, but I don't, I'll give it one more one more watch. But I, I just don't see it getting any better at all. Was really disappointed in this one. Picked up first uh, my first Captain America movie on 4K. Got it for like I said, seventeen dollars out of a case. Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Got the slips to the other two. Just gonna wait it out and get those cheap. I'm I'm not gonna pay thirty dollars for a new release now when I know McKay's is gonna get it a week or two later for ten to ten to twelve dollars cheaper. So Captain America: The Winter Soldier still my favorite. Marvel Studios movie. Um, I haven't seen Endgame yet, but I'm, I'm sure that one will be fantastic. Uh, Infinity War was great, but I still love The Winter Soldier, and it's still my favorite uh, Marvel movie. Then also had to pick up the only two that I really wanted, Batman Forever, uh, Batman and Robin. I had no, no interest in getting, but picked up Batman on 4K for $15.00. Went and saw this in the theaters, me and Jordan did, and we got a video for it over, over on the Triple Flicks Mafia channel. Um, I'm sure the 4K is the one that they've shown in the theater. I mean, it looked fantastic. 
Uh, just just one of the top five movie of all time for me. Just the nostalgia. Everybody knows about Batman. Michael Keaton is Batman to me, and Jack Nicholson is a Joker. He, uh, Heath Ledger was awesome, but nostalgia-wise, that's the one for me. And then probably <clears throat> my favorite of the Batman movies, Batman Returns. Picked it up for $15 as well. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to pay full price for them. I would have, but I found them out at McKay's with the slipcovers for, for cheaper than the original price. Uh, but yeah, Batman Returns, what more can you say about it? Can you say about it? it I consider it a Christmas movie. It's so dark. Uh, I just I, this, one, uh, this one just barely beats out the original Batman, but I absolutely love it. Just nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. And same with this one right here. I was so glad when MVD Visual... Visual Announce this uh, title, and that's Double Impact. Another top five Van Damme movie for me up there with Lionheart. I'm so glad that they were able to put these out. It seems like they're doing quite a bit of the Van Damme movies, so fingers crossed that down the line or sometime soon they were able to, uh, they're able to get Bloodsport because that would just make make it for me. If they were able to put out Lionheart, Double Impact, and Bloodsport, sold. They're, they'd be one of my favorite companies out there, but... The transfer's really good on this. Got a ton of special features on this. And I think they got interviews with uh, Van Damme, yeah, and the director. So just absolute cheesiness. Uh, Van Damme plays two parts in this movie. Uh, the action scenes are, fi are great. The fight scenes are great. Uh, it has Chun-Li in it from uh, Bloodsport. He's one of the main bad guys. So absolutely love this one. It's a nostalgia factor for me as well. All right, now we're going to get straight into the horror movies. I've got four DVDs here, and then the rest, like I said, the rest is boutique horror, slipcovers, and non-slipcovers. But like I said, the horror train just keeps on rolling. Uh, that's what m my collection mainly consists of now. Um, the new releases, I mean, it, I'll pick some up here and there, just movies that I want. But like I said, mainly my collection is growing more towards the horror, horror line now, and that's just, just my favorite style of movie. So, enough with the rambling. First DVD picked up. We got it out at McKay's for like $4, and that's Santa Slay. I know it's probably complete garbage, but a Christmas horror movie with Bill Goldberg starring as Santa Claus. I know Chad watched this and said it's absolutely ridiculous, but like I said, for $5, I've been wanting this DVD and found it out at McKay's and couldn't pass it up. I mean, like I said, a horror Christmas movie. Another one to add to the collection. Gotta, gotta go with it. Got to. Then also, I forget where I found this at. This may have been Great Escape, but I've heard a lot of things about this, and that's Trick or Treat, and it's from, when is it from? Uh, it's from the 80s. It don't say on here. But I know it's got either a bootleg DVD or, or not a bootleg DVD, a blue, bootleg Blu-ray or a super out-of-print Blu-ray, but for DVD, and I found it for like $5, I want to take a chance. I've heard great things about this one. This is not the the Sam Trick or Treat, but like I said, it has Gene Simmons and Ozzy Osbourne in it. And I heard it's if you're a '80s metal fan, this is this is right up your alley. So I'm really looking forward to this. One. I'm going to check this one out around Halloween time. So really, really excited to pick this one uh, to watch this one and get to it. That made no sense. Found Lake Dead out at McKay's for like three dollars. We watched this one. Jordan picked this up in one of his updates and talked about it. It was real cheap. It's a uh, it's a good summertime horror movie. It's a lower budget, but it, I had a lot of fun with it. The kills are fun. Um, like I said, it's set out in the woods as well and on a lake. So I had fun with it. For uh, under $5, this is, this is a worthy pickup on DVD. I highly, highly recommend that one. It was, it was fun. Then finally picked up. I've been wanting to see this one for a while. We watched it the other night, and that's The Hills Run Red. Uh, kind of almost like a docu- series uh, a documentary movie about a horror movie that was made that's called the hills run red and a group of friends are trying to go out and find the film and there's a few twists in it the kills are awesome the killer the uh, baby face love the mask love the look of him um i know what is it one's customs on instagram he makes custom figures he's made a custom baby face figure before but i really dug it it's like i said it's a lower budget mo horror movie um, it's a good slasher. It's got some great kills in it, good, good effects. Hopefully, down the lines, maybe somebody like Screen Factory, Arrow Video, 
uh, vinegar syndrome, uh, severin, somebody like that will put this one, uh, we'll give this one a, a Blu-ray treatment because I know it may either have a a Region B Blu-ray or it doesn't even have a Blu-ray at all, but this one definitely needs the Blu-ray treatment. I had a lot of fun with this one. We'll get straight into the Amory um, horror movies I picked up. This one right here, got it off uh, Hamilton Books for like $4, but it's The Reef. Good, terrifying shark movie. I really enjoyed this one. Jordan's talked about this one for a while now, and just just terrifying. I, I don't know what I would do in this situation. Would you stay on the boat? Would you start swimming? I mean, it's just, once again, it's one of those situations where I, I doubt I would put myself in this situation because you're going out into the middle of the ocean. So much can go fucking wrong, and... The ocean, like I said before, the ocean just absolutely terrifies me. But I really enjoyed this shark movie. Uh, just they use real shark footage in this one, in a way. In, in a way, the, when they show the shark, they it's actual shark footage, probably from some cage divers or free divers or stuff like that. But this movie is terrifying. Had a lot of fun with it. Well, fun with it. Uh, fun's not a good way of putting it. It's just it's just terrifying to be in this kind of situation. But The Reef, I highly recommend this one if you're into shark movies. It's a good summertime watch as well. Heard a lot of good things about this one as well. We are still here. I've never I haven't watched this one yet, but I picked it up for eight dollars out of McKay's. Uh, a haunted house movie. Chad and Jordan talk, uh, said that it's pretty good. So looking forward to checking that one out. Picked up another Kibo Lorber title, Burnt Offerings. It is rated only PG horror movie. Uh, I know Paul Slasher Junkie, he said this is a pretty good like haunted house type movie as well. So, got it for $12 out of McKay, so might, might as well take a chance on a Kibo Lorber. Had to pick this one back up. I don't know why I sold it a while back. Uh, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed this movie. I talked about it on my top five creature features over on the Triple Flicks Mafia channel. And that's Troll Hunter. Great found footage movie about a group of friends that go to find this man. He's a troll hunter, and shit just breaks loose from there. And it's it's a really, really fun watch. I can't recommend this one enough. I'm not sure if it's still on Netflix. I know it was for a while, but I highly, highly recommend this one. If you like found footage movies, if you like a uh, kind of like fantasy horror in a way. I, I don't know if fantasy horror is a great way to put it, but the visuals are awesome in this movie, especially the end scene when they're going up against this big badass troll it, it, it's fun I'm, I I can't recommend this one enough either I really really enjoy this one get see no evil 2 out of McKay's for six dollars I've seen the first one never seen this one but for six dollars I want might as well take a chance it's it has Danielle Harris in it and Kane hello sold and then this one right here it, I watched the trailer it has kind of like a saw vibe to it got it for eight dollars and it's called kill game I know absolutely nothing about it. Like I said, I just looked up the trailer. It looks pretty gory. It looks pretty graphic. Uh, like I said, for $8, I'll take a chance on it. If I don't like it, I'll just resell it. Picked this one up the other day for $7 out of McKay's as well. It's called Pulse from 1988. Uh, this is a Mill Creek release. I know nothing about it. All I know is electricity is killing people. Kind of in the maximum overdrive range, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Pulse, if you've heard of this one, let me know in the comments below if it's any good or if I wasted my money on that one. And picked up Dark Skies. I know Jordan had this in one of his top fives. I'm not sure which one it was, but I know it was in one of his top fives. Kind of creepy-esque alien movie, I believe. I don't know. I've never seen it, never heard of it till he made his top five. So for $7, might as well take a chance on it. Then picked up Chrome Skull, Laid to Rest 2. I haven't seen this one yet. Got it off of Hamilton Books for like $4. I've seen the first one, and the first one is freaking badass. It only has a DVD release. I need to pick that one up here soon. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. This one has Danielle Harris in it as well. So, hopefully this one has as brutal kills as the first one does. Because the first one really surprised me with how good it was. I forget how I watched it a while back. I need to, like I said, pick, it, uh, pick the first one up and give it a rewatch. And I know... I think there's a GoFundMe or something like that to make a Laid to Rest 3. So, but yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. Hopefully the guys pick it up as well. Picked up another Criterion. Yeah, Trini, that's a, another Criterion release that I picked up, and that's The Devil's Backbone. Got it out of McKay's for $24. Uh, I think that's a good price for it. I've never seen it. It's a movie by Guillermo del Toro. 
I've heard that it's pretty good. I know NECA has released a figure of this right here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know anything pretty much about this one, but it was ch uh, a cheap criterion, a cheaper criterion for, for a, good, a horror one. So, might as well pick it up. Trini, be proud of me, buddy. Also picked up Basket Case 2 and Basket Case 3. They were cheap on Best Buy's website. I think they were like $10.99 a piece. I had a lot of fun with Basket Case. Me and Chad watched it, the Arrow video release of it. I had it for forever, and we just recently watched it within here in the last month or so, and had a lot of fun with it. It's cheesy as all hell, but, you know, for $10 for a piece for these, I might as well take a chance, and I put up by Synapse. They're probably going to be absolutely ridiculous, but, you know, I'll take a chance on them. I'm looking forward to watching these. This one's probably going to be just absolutely ridiculous. He looks like he's in a, uh, a fucking, uh, the loader from, uh, Aliens in that thing. So, yeah, this is probably going to be terrible, but terrible in a good way. Also picked up a few Screen Factory titles without slips. Got Animal. Uh, got this off of Hamilton Books for like $5. Took a chance. Was hopeful, uh, saw where some people got the slip, uh, with it on there, but, you know, oh well, it's, it was a $5 Screen Factory title. Uh, this could be a good creature feature. I don't know anything about this one. The trailer looked pretty decent. So for $5, took a damn shot on it. Then I got this one from Bull Moose. Somebody, they had it used on there for like $15 and that's Man's Best Friend. Uh, I remember renting this movie quite a few times when I was little. Uh, just a, a, a Rottweiler, Rottweiler that's mixed with a different, different animals and the pretty, it's a super powered Rottweiler that goes on a killing spree. Has Lance Hendrickson in it. Uh, absolute cheese. But, you know, I have a soft spot for it. I enjoyed it when I was little, so looking forward to catching this one again. I was real excited when Screen Factory put it out, but I'm not going to pay the $25 uh, to $30 for, for this release. I uh, got it for like $14 off of Bull Moose. Like I said, did somebody, somebody traded it in, and it was used, and I jumped all over it. Then picked up... The Masked Mutilator, have yet to watch this one. This one's on my watch list. I know me and Chad picked this up. It's a a wrestling slasher movie. Uh, it's put out by Inter Intervision and also Severin. Uh, you can get it off their website. Uh, comes with a, a catalog booklet from Severin. But, yeah, that's... I don't think it has alternate. It does not have alternate artwork. But, like I said, it's a slasher based around wrestling. Me and Chad were sold on that shit in a heartbeat. So, had to pick this one up. Looking forward to checking this one out. All right, got my non-boutique horror, uh, horror movies with slipcovers. Picked these up last week. Got Leprechaun Returns. Heard this was pretty damn fun. Uh, the kills are supposed to be pretty damn good. And it's, pre it's supposedly pretty funny, too. So, looking forward to checking this one out here soon. We may be doing a uh, Leprechaun franchise review on down the line, hopefully set that up for around St. Uh, St. Patrick's Day for next year. But I've only ever seen the original Leprechaun and I think the Leprechaun in the Hood. That's the only ones I've ever seen. But this one's supposed to be take place, I think, after the original. It's supposed to be a direct sequel to the original, I guess. I don't know. But I've heard good things about it. It looks like fun. And it was cheap. I think it was like $12 for the Blu-ray with the, with the digital copy. So... Really stoked about that one. Then picked these three up out at Great Escape for $5 a piece. Um, I've seen these. I don't know much about these at all. I haven't looked up the trailers or anything. But like I said, for $5, I was willing to take a, or Yeah, for $5 a piece, I was willing to take a chance. I may not be saying this wrong. Malevolence? Malevolence? I don't know. Malevolence 1. Slipcover's a little janky down there at the bottom. But like I said, $5. Pick that one up. Uh, then got Mal Malvolence 2 with my boo thing, Alexander D D Dodge. D I'm not even going to attempt to say her last name, but she's hot. I mean, you know who she is. Uh, Bere Berevment, I guess. Melvin. I don't know. You can see it. You read it how you want to say it. I don't know. Don't know anything about these. Like I said, they were $5 a piece out of Great Escape uh, with all three of them with the slip covers. Why the fuck not? I mean, then you got Mel Valence 3 Killer. I'm probably butchering that name. I don't know. I, I can't say it. I don't know. Mel Valence. Mel Valence. Mel Valence 3. Ugh, that was brutal. 
Anyways, pick those up. Good shit. And now we're going to get, like I said, into the boutique horror, your arrow video. I got one Ronin Flicks, some Screen Factories, and some Vinegar Syndrome. So we're going to get straight into those. With all the sales going on, it was... Uh, I got four new arrow titles. Uh, I just released a a review for this one over on the Triple Flix Mafia channel, and that's Deadbeat of Dawn. This movie is so fucking cheesy, but so great. Uh, like I said in the review, if you're a fan of Samurai Cop, Miami Connection, Zero Boys, uh, Deadly Prey, you'll really, really enjoy this one. Had a lot of fun with it. A super, super low budget movie, but a lot of fun as well. And then pick the... I think they yeah, picked that one up and these next two from Diabolic DVD when they had their arrow video sale going on. Picked up Slugs. Uh, from what I hear, this one's going out of print like the stuff. And there's another one that's, uh, uh, what is it, Chud? It's gone out of print. I, I heard that this one's going out of print as well. So had to pick this one up. Going to be a great creature feature, creature feature to watch. Also picked up Colobos. Heard this is almost in like the Saw range. Uh, haven't watched it yet. Looking forward to checking that one out as well. But a Screen Factory, I mean, not Screen Factory, God bless. An Aero title for the cheap. Might as well, like I said, these were all, all three of these were half price over on Diabolic DVD during their Aero video sale. Then picked up the new release of Trapped Alive. Um, from what I've read and seen, I, I think that this is based around Christmas. A group of friends get trapped in a cave, all that good shit, and then bad shit happens. So. That artwork is awesome on it. Looking forward to checking this one out. All right, picked up one title from Ronin Flicks, and I can't speak highly enough about Ronin Flicks. Their their shipping is amazing. I think it's we ordered it and it was to us within like two or three days, which was really 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 impressive. But picked up Shredder, awesome artwork done by Devin Whitehead. It's got alternate artwork as well. Comes with a poster. Just a badass release from Ronin Flicks and uh, Scorpion releases. <sighs> Was a little let down by this movie. The the writing and the directing. I mean, I'm a fan of cheesy, cheesy movies. But this one was... It could have been better cheesy-wise. Some of the kills were pretty, done pretty well. But then some of the kills were off-screen. Which I don't understand that one. Just give, just give it all to us. The off-screen kills were a little off-putting. The acting is... Is is pretty damn bad as well. I mean, it has uh, Steve in it from Full House. But... I was one. It, it should have been. They should. They should have taken it uh, to a cheesier level, or maybe a little bit more serious level. I don't know. Is it's kind of right there in the in between. It's a keeper for me. I need to re uh, rewatch it. It's a good wintertime horror flick to watch. The killer is pretty cool. Uh, you don't get much out of uh, out of. It's got a little twist ending at the end, but like I said, the. It kind of it just lacked a, a something to it. Uh, I can't put my finger on what it, it should have taken itself to the super cheesy level, or taken itself a little bit more seriously. Uh, it's right there, right in that middle road, which was I don't want to say off putting, but it could have been better. It could have been better. But like I said, it's a badass release from Scorpion releases and Running Flicks. Um, really, really digging what Running Flicks is doing right now. They're putting out some great titles. Um, and they they put a lot of effort into their releases as well. I want to get that opera release, but I'm not paying forty to forty five dollars for it when I have the standard Amore edition of it. But yeah, that Shredder, uh, for twenty dollars, I think it's like twenty two dollars on their site right now. Uh, yeah, for that price, it's worth picking up if you're a horror fan, a slasher fan. It's worth that. So yeah, that Shredder. All right, next up we got some Screen Factory titles with slips. Took a chance on this one. The slip cover came a little janky, but I mean, it's it's a non collector's edition. That's the Toolbox Murderers 2. Got this for $6 off of Hamilton Books. Like I said, I picked up this and Animal, and the next next one I'm going to show as well. And got two out of the three with the slips for really, really cheap. But Toolbox Murderers 2, no, I don't know anything about it for $5. I took a chance and got it with the slip. So stoked about that. This one right here. I was really, really, really surprised that I got the slip with it for $9 off of Hamilton Books, and that's RoboCop 3. Pro it is the worst RoboCop movie out of the franchise. I mean, it's absolutely absolutely ridiculous. But, like I said, 
I'm willing to pay nine dollars for it with getting the slip. If I didn't get the slip with it, I was probably just going to end up sending it back. But for nine dollars, Robocop three, the collector's edition with the slip. Yes, 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 and yes. That just finishes off my Robocop collection. So, yay. Uh, and uh, really, really excited that uh, the uh, the first Robocop, uh, I'm not, they haven't set a release date yet, but it is getting an Arrow Video release. Uh, they've already they've already announced it and made a mistake. Uh, I think some people got booklets in some of their Arrow Video orders of the Robocop booklet in there. So, it's coming. Really, really stoked about that. Love Robocop and Robocop 2. Then picked up the new release of The Entity. Uh, I don't know anything about this one. Haven't watched it yet. Uh, the artwork's cool. I think who did the, Joel Robinson did the artwork on this one. So really cool artwork. Uh, it's supposed to be I th either a possession or a ghost movie. Uh, I don't know. But I've been hearing good reviews out of it. So really stoked to have that one. All right. Last part of the, the update. And it is my Vinegar Syndrome pickups pick from uh, their Halfway to Black Friday sale. Picked up three slipcover editions from them. First one I got was Wacko. Uh, I know this is kind of a horror comedy set around Halloween. That's all I know. I looked up the trailer for it. Looks ridiculous, but that's right up Vinegar Syndrome's uh, alley right there. But awesome slipcover to it. Uh, like, I said, like everybody said before, you cannot beat Vinegar Syndrome's releases with their slipcovers. They had the most badass slip covers out there nobody can nobody can compete with them on slip covers but yeah the first one i picked up was wacko then picked up two of their new releases from the black friday sale got mountaintop motel massacre know nothing about this one it's a slasher the slip cover is beautiful uh, for some reason this one toss that to the side for the, for some reason this one came with two sets of inside artwork I don't know why. This is the first one. I, this is the first movie I've ever seen do this. But you got this artwork right here, and then you got the the uh, slipcover artwork, and then it also came with this insert as well. That's double sided as well. I don't. I have no idea why they did that. I don't. I don't know. It's it's cool as hell that they did that with this one as well, but. Uh, like I said, we haven't watched this one yet. Looking forward to watching it. Uh, yeah, Mountaintop Motel Massacre. What more can we say about it? All right, the last title that we picked up, and it was also a new release from their Halfway to Black Friday sale, and that is Night Beast. This movie is an absolute gem. Had so much fun watching this movie. It's ridiculously cheesy. The monster in it, the beast, is just... <laughs> it's ridiculous. The, the shootout scenes are... Are so much fun and the the sheriff in this movie is right up there along the lines of the best best cops in movie history up there with Mo Rutherford from the stuff up there with the uh, the cop from the offerings just he has a straight face through the whole entire movie this movie is super super low budget a young JJ Abrams actually did the uh, music in this movie from going back and watching the special features and then Paul uh, Slasher Junkie told us about it as well. But this this movie is a lot of fun. I highly, highly recommend this one if you're into that super, super, super cheesy, so bad it's fun, uh, so bad it's good movies. Uh, the effects are are ridiculous. The kills are fun. Uh, the beast itself, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous, but I enjoy the hell out of this one. If you're able to grab it on during the halfway to Black Friday sale for cheap, well not cheap, it was like twenty twenty four dollars. It's so worth it. And like I said, it's a vinegar syndrome release. Absolutely had a blast with this one. Um, there's a movie I forget. It's on my Amazon wish list, but the director made a movie. It's called The Alien Factor. I think that's what it's called. A couple years before they released this one or did this one, and this this movie right here is pretty much. Almost a remake of the Alien Factor. If you watch the trailer to it, it has the same characters in it. The same people play the same characters from this movie as in the Alien Factor. I mean, it is just ridiculous. I, I'm halfway tempted to buy that one. I think it's on YouTube if you want to watch it. But Night Beast is a lot of fun. Can't rec I don't want to say recommend it. It's just, it's just fun. It's a fun, fun alien 
slash horror movie. And that's it. Another update in the books. Uh, like I said, I put this one out a whole lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, just because I was able to get so many titles with all the sales going on and all that. So definitely get down in the comments down below. Let me know about these titles that I picked up. If you've seen any of them, let me know what you think of them. Give this video a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you, if you would. If you're not subbed, sub. Sub to me. I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm going to start putting more and more stuff out on this channel as well. Um, in the making, I got vacation coming up here soon. So after I get back from that, I'll probably do my complete horror collection. I've got that one lined up, ready to go. Because that's going to be a long video. Because my horror collection has grown so much since I put one out the last time. But yeah, like I said, comment, sub, hit the little dinger, hit the notification bell. All that good stuff. Until next time, see ya.